Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about Hanya, more specifically, how insane Hanya is going to be when she comes out in the second half of 1.5. And honestly, Hanya is always an interesting character because, for one, she is visually so pleasing to look at because look how hot she is. But also, one thing about Hanya's kid is her kid really looks amazing on paper, and the fact that we get to try she out for a bit on the quest we have to do is interesting. So, I just want to talk about how I think Hanya is going to be an insane poster character the kid that you should go for if you're going for the Civil Rerun or GNT. I do believe when Hanya comes comes out she is going to be a main staple for all teams you play her in because one how universal she is and how good her buffing capability is. So how Hanya's skill works is basically when you use the skill you mark an enemy and you do increase damage to that enemy and you do a set amount of damage you will be granted a skill point back. So I don't know how annoying this is or how hard it is or how easy it is to get but I would say depending on which character can do that damage threshold to get the skill point back it's very valuable because let's say in vibes you may Jing Wu, Jing Yuan can trigger it it's so valuable to get skill point back because the only way to get a skill point back is either from even one Bronya or Bronya like on herself. So having a character that can give skill point back is very valuable and probably with idols you get like if you get high idols her probably the restriction will be less and less but I don't know if that's true or not because I haven't looked at the leaks and I don't want to talk about leak content because for one I don't want to get banned because I'm way too small. <laughs> that is just full on speculation but could be true could be false I have no clue but if that's true it'll be high for sure and if you get high idol on Hanya it might be worth your time trying to go for idols on her. But obviously the skill point now but I think the biggest thing about Hanya the ultimate because for one the ultimate like one of the best ultimate designs ever because I'll be honest the dev team really killed it for force that animation that looks amazing but also what makes this ultimate so amazing the fact that it also buffs speed and attack to one ally on your team which is such a big deal I think people realize how big of a deal this is because for one Asta does the same thing with AoE and even though you're buffing up your whole team with Asta with speed and attack the thing is with Hanya since it's a single target we can assume it's more higher you get more attack and more speed to that one ally that gets in the buff from Hanya which in my opinion much more valuable because you can give you like your main DPS that buff and they can really become havoc for sure. So that's why I think Hanya is going to be such an amazing buffer because of all the stuff she can do and since it's a single target and I think it's a skill point back, she is a very valuable asset to have on your team. But one thing is, I don't know how complete Hanya is at C0 or maybe she like a Yukong situation where you found was very clunky but she need an E6 but I don't think Hanya will have that problem. But I could be wrong since I already looked at the leak so anyone of you guys know in the comments, let me know down below and I do appreciate if you tell me that for sure. But honestly, I have a lot of faith in Hanya because of all the stuff she offers on paper, I think she's going to be a very valuable support character and a very good buffer indeed. And also the fact that Hanya is a freaking wife, like you see how gorgeous Hanya looks. She basically like the equivalent of perfect character, broken and hot at the same time, like what more you can even want? <laughs> but my one big complaint about Hanya is the fact that she's on the second phase of 1.5 because for one, why she could have been with Hulu, she was with Hulu, this would have been like the best situation ever. You can have broken healer but at the same time you can have broken support as well, like I understand why you did but at the same time, damn. Because I know a fair amount of people are skipping the second half because one, they are still and they don't care what our gen do. So the fact that a very cracked out for the harmony character is on the second half, and a lot of people skipping it because for one, they are scared of building pity. Because once you start building pity, you're guaranteed to get early fights, especially early fights that you don't want because you're going for four star. If you know that feeling, you know how that feeling is. <laughs> what of advice to all, you do not build up pity because for one, you will regret that instantly. Better to be safe than sorry. But for the people that are going away for the second half, who going for Argenti, who going for Civil on a rerun, they are chilling for sure because one, they get in a unit they want, also a crazy good for a star army unit that's gonna be insane. Especially if you're gonna get some islands on Hanya, it's gonna be a good time for all because one, for a star army cracks, I usually have some really, really cracked out E6 or E2, like really good islands overall. So if you get islands on your Hanya, you're chilling for sure. But overall, I am very, very, very excited about Hanya because one, look how gorgeous she looks, and I think she's gonna be amazing DPS. But with all I said, I think that everything I want talk about for this video and with all that said thank you so much for watching this video i do appreciate if you made it far let me know if you made it far and i'll heart your comments because i would appreciate support to me let me know what you next and let me know what you guys think what i say you agree with me disagree with me next. let me know down below because at the end of the day i'm not gonna kill you meh probably might kill you but still comment anyway because of that stuff but anyway final thoughts is i am very excited about honey i think she has a lot of potential to be very broken easy s tier for sure probably around tingian level at e0 and who knows, maybe her E6 will probably become Island she get makes her extremely broken. Like, I don't know, but I'm very excited for sure. I just wish she was with Hulu. It isn't such a good time for me, but for those who wishing on the second half, you're chilling for sure, so good luck. Well, with all I said, take care, love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>